what is up? I am going to, I am going to, um, show you guys some cool scriptures from the Bible. If you're doubting your salvation, like I am, like almost all the time. Here's a thing, um, God in a movie called An Interview with God, it's on Netflix, really good movie. God actually says in that movie to Paul, which is not Paul from the Bible, but uh, the guy, is, he's a journalist named Paul. He's interviewing God. So, uh, no spoilers, but um, that's not a spoiler. Anyways, God actually tells Paul that Satan is real, but Satan only has the power that you give to him. He only has an extended amount of power that you give, that we give to him. So if we let Satan Satan have all the power, we give him all the power to make us doubt and pull us away from God more and more. If we don't resist him, he'll keep doing it and get more powerful within us. So um, so that's why it's really important when you're when he's doubting you or, or when he's making you doubt or tempting you to sin, you you're like no, Satan, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. I belong to Jesus, not you. You cannot have me. Flee. And then um, you'll be able to resist. Them. Anyways, I got some really awesome scriptures here to, uh, to tell you guys. All right, first of all, Romans chapter 8, verse 1. I think that's how you say it life through the spirit therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus if you accept if Romans 10 9 by his blood we shall be saved meaning if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead three days later we shall be saved you have to believe it in your heart and act and accept him as your uh personal Lord and Savior. Um, I have videos of that um, on my channel. Anyways, uh, so there's now, now no condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. Here's another one, another good one. These will have make you have more faith in God and His promises because we all know obviously God can't lie. So if He promises, it's true. Because promise is, is a promise, and it's a lie if you break it. So, and he can't lie, so he never breaks his promises. Romans, Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 24. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We all know that. And all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Jesus Christ. So, if we accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, place our faith in Him with all our heart, accept Him as Lord and Savior, and receive His Holy Spirit, we become born-again Christians, totally changed, and He comes to live within us with His Spirit, even if we can't, if we can't feel it. Um, we're not perfect. So we're still sinners, even though he's in us. So that means, but we have his life and he's eternal. So he is everlasting life. He is our salvation. Jesus Christ is our salvation. That's why we are justified freely by the grace through him, his redemption, his resurrection. We, uh, we're still sinners, but we're forgiven and we're justified by that, we cannot go to hell any longer. All right, here's a few more. First John chapter one, verse nine. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Now, here's the thing. I have not been doing this lately. Uh, years ago, I was living in unrepentant sin habitual or habit, habitual sin for years after accepting Jesus as the Lord and Savior. And the Holy Spirit's fire got uh, went out. I quenched the Holy Spirit's fire within me. If when, Once you see, receive the Holy Spirit, uh, he has a, it feels like a burning fire within you. 
and it, do, it doesn't burn like burn like hurt or anything but, but you feel his presence within you but if we don't spend time in his word in prayer um or worship and praise we dim that holy spirit's fire within us he's still there you just cannot feel his presence anymore you feel like he's left you but he's not that's what i've been it's a spiritual suffering and it feels awful anyways uh there's that one here's a, uh, another good one. Ooh, how do you say this one psalm, psalm chapter 103 verse 12 i guess I as far as the east is from the west so far he uh has he removed our transgressions from us he when we accept jesus christ as lord and savior even though we're sinners he took all of our sin and put it on himself on the cross. He died with our sins. So whoever accepts him, we have his life with, within us. So all he, pull, he t removes our sin from us and throws it as far as the east of the west, is from the west. He removes it from us and throws it and casts our sins and transgressions into the deepest sea. So... God can't see our sin. We already stand uh, before God as if we're already perfect and never sin. He knows we're still sinners, but he doesn't. He only sees the blood within us of Jesus. Um, so he t removes our sins and just throws them away, puts them out of his mind. He, he, so he erases. It's like he has no memory of our sins or something like that. But uh, I think one more. Yep, one more. All right, here's uh, this one, and I will say a prayer, and then I'll end the video. John, John chapter 3, verse 17. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. We accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, believing in his death. God raised him from the dead three days later, receiving the Holy Spirit, and we get saved through Jesus. He comes to live within us for all eternity. And we are saved by him. We cannot pull Jesus. Uh, Jesus in the Bible promises that he will never leave nor forsake us. So that clearly means we cannot go to hell anymore. Because obviously we cannot take God to hell with us. He's, he's absolutely perfect. So he doesn't deserve to go to hell. So we can't take him to hell with us. So, and if he lives within us, he promises to never leave nor forsake us. So he's in us for all eternity. So it's impossible for us to go to hell. Um, well, that, that that sums it up um, for all this. Uh, it's backwards. Um, I'll say a prayer with you guys and I'll end the video. Dear Jesus, I ask you to help everybody who's watching this to get encouraged with their faith and strengthen their faith within you and have these scriptures have, make them have faith and confidence through their salvation. There's all this proof that you will never, that you will definitely take everybody to heaven if they receive you as Lord and Savior. In your name, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I hope this guy, I hope this uh, video encouraged you guys and strengthened your guys' faith. Um, make sure you pray um, to have Jesus, our Lord and Savior, to strengthen your faith, faith and confidence in your salvation um, while listening to this prayer at the end of this video with all your heart. All right. See ya.